Hello everyone and welcome to Sapien. Today we will see how to establish connection between SAP Cloud Platform Integration and Salesforce. After that we will also see how to authenticate connection of Salesforce Workbench Adapter in Eclipse. First we will create a free trial account in Salesforce. So make sure to create the trial account in one of the edition like Enterprise Edition, Unlimited Edition, Developer Edition or Performance Edition because in the rest of the editions there is no access for API to connect with apps which we create in Salesforce. In this video we will create a Developer Edition account. Okay, so without wasting any time let's get into it. We will simply go to developer.salesforce.com and then navigate to login then salesforce then we can go to the start my free trial and we can add the required details here and click on next further it will ask for your email address and stuffs and other things as well and it will send a verification mail to your registered email address because of that you can create a new password for your account and then your account can be created so now I have already created an account after you uh, set a new password for your account your account will look like this this is the home page of the Salesforce now what we have to do we have to create a connected app uh, to establish connection between your cloud platform integration and uh, Eclipse okay so we will switch to Salesforce classic and then we will simply go to set and when you scroll down in the build section navigate to create and then apps are many types of apps like sub tab apps and connected apps we have to create a connected app okay so click on new now add the name for your connected app by default it will get print in the api name as well okay like this uh, after that we will give an email address you want so that you can get credentials of your connected app now we will enable api for OAuth authentication okay why because we want to connect it based on the OAuth authentication type we will enable the device flow for callback URL and use a default callback URL provided by the Salesforce like this you can also give a uh, your own callback URL whatever you want uh, we are providing a default callback URL here after that we will select a scope for our connected app for now we are just providing a full access control we are selecting here and we are uh, doing a drop down to here full access after that we will leave everything as by default and save the connected app i have already created a connected app so now when I go into the connected app which I have already created I want to see the consumer key and consumer secret to establish connection between other platforms so when I click into this it will send a verification code at your registered email address which you have provided in the connected app when you verify it give you the consumer key and consumer secret for the connected app which you can use in the C SAP CPI and Eclipse okay so make sure to uh, copy those consumer key and secret in the text folder or somewhere else okay for further use now we need uh, the security token for that we have to switch to lightning experience again
so now we will navigate to profile then settings from the left panel scroll down and go to reset my security token what you have to do is click on the reset security token and it will send your security token to the registered email address okay so based on these three things uh, you can establish connection between other platforms like cloud platform integration and Eclipse Workbench as well. So now we will move on to the cloud platform integration. So now we will uh, add the Salesforce adapter in the cloud platform integration and we will also add the credentials. We will add the uh, security token as well as a security parameter we will also add credentials of the connected app as OAuth client credentials so first we need to download the Salesforce adapter I have provided the link in the description down below to download the Salesforce adapter okay so check out that and I have already downloaded the adapter so it contains a zip file like this and uh, what we need to do is we need to upload this file inside the cloud platform integration how can we do that let's see all we need to do is go into the edit and add integration adapter browse I have already extracted the zip folder so yeah this is the file as you can see then we simply have to click on ok the integration adapter is successfully created as you can see the type is integration adapter now we need to deploy it to use it in the integration flow artifacts so we click simply to deploy and it is triggered for deployment to check it we will go into the integration monitor channel then manage integration content and as you can see the Salesforce adapter is successfully started now we need to add the credentials which we have created in the Salesforce okay I have already added the credentials let me show you yes so for the basic credential you need to add the username and password of your Salesforce account okay so don't get confused between the connected app credentials and your Salesforce account credentials this basic credential is your Salesforce account credential not your connected app consumer secret and key so this is the username of my Salesforce account and you need to add the password of your Salesforce account and deploy it after that you need to add now the connected app credentials again as a user credentials okay so this is how uh, you can add the consumer key here in the user and consumer secret here in the password again you have to provide the consumer secret here to repeat it and deploy it so now we have to add the security token as a secure parameter like this so how can we do that let's see I have already added the security token here as a secure parameter what you need to do is simply you need to paste the security token here and repeat it again which uh, you have got from the Salesforce in the registered email address and you need to simply deploy it 
so this is how you can add the credentials for your salesforce account connected app and uh, security token so this is all you have to do to establish connection between your cloud platform integration and salesforce account now we will move on to the eclipse workbench to establish connection between your salesforce account and salesforce adapter workbench in eclipse now all you have to do is to download eclipse oxygen for salesforce workbench adapter i have provided the link in the description down below you can go there and download the eclipse based on your operating system and specification i have already downloaded it so before that before opening the eclipse what you have to do is to go inside the salesforce folder which you have downloaded inside that you have a jar file a plugin file okay inside a plugin file you have a jar file what you have to do is copy this and go into the eclipse folder inside the plugins you have to paste it here okay the jar file so that we can use the salesforce workbench adapter in the eclipse after that open the eclipse go into the window section perspective open perspective other and after that you need to select the salesforce adapter workbench this is the file jar file which we have added in the plugin folder of eclipse now as you can see we have the perspective of salesforce workbench adapter here now we need to add the credentials for that we have to go into the window section preferences inside preferences we have to go into the salesforce adapter workbench i have already added the credentials of salesforce account as you remembered uh, i have enabled the api oauth so based on that we will do the same here and select the authentication type as oauth client credentials address you can uh, give your the environment of your salesforce account which you have received in the email during the verification of your account like this so you can provide here you can also provide the login.salesforce.com like this okay username and then password then security token consumer key and consumer secret which you have got from the connected app okay so say after that save preferences in secure store then apply then simply test the connection now as you can see the salesforce login is successful apply and close now what we have to do is we can create and generate xhd from different different options and we can use that xhd in the integration flow scenarios to map the values okay so we will see all about that in the next session we will create integration flows and scenarios based on the different business use cases okay so thank you thank you so much for watching we, i will see you in the next session